In the second episode of our Moroccan series, we drive south over the Atlas Mountains to the famous city of Wazazart. Join us as we tour the famous Atlas Studios, give some footballs away to some very happy children, get a speeding fine and visit the incredible village of Ait Ben Hadou. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. In the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Think of it now. We're uh, in the Atlas Mountains, and we're nearly at the top, I believe. It's a long drive mainly because you're anywhere from uh, 60 to 80 kilometers an hour all the way and most times down to 40 or 50 so it's a long drive we've still got a couple of hours until we get to our destination um, and that's it's only like 70 kilometers away um, it's, it's quite interesting we're up the top of the mountain here and we've got these wee villages everywhere They're just <laughs> people living here we've got um, cafes restaurants Houses, it's bloody unbelievable. Lots of pottery, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> selling tagines. There's snow everywhere, too. Who would have thought? Going to Africa and we're in the thick of the snow. <laughs> so it's, it's quite a, an awesome scenery. Mm, beautiful. So, but we're, we're all about the uh, journey, not the destination. So we're just taking our time and uh, <laughs> being, being cautious. With these crazy drivers, yeah, because they don't care uh, whether you've got two lanes or one that they're making two, and uh, they'll just pass anywhere on blind corners. And everything. Yeah. So, because we haven't seen the accident yet, hopefully, we don't. I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive. Don't you blame me? Don't you blame me? Welcome to view from the office. So we're just out doing a bit of uh, looking around, a bit of shopping, looking for some uh, footballs for the, for the young fellows that, that kick around in the desert here and, and uh, the city. what's this place called? Oh, was, was this at? Was this at? Yeah. So we've been invited upstairs into this shop for a cup of tea where they go and get some footballs. So um, very nice, very beautiful, second hand stuff. Um, yeah, I'll show you around. It's beautiful. There's a lot of shops, there's a lot of jewellery. Um, a lot of pottery. Very nice. Lots of these, they, they drink their tea out of these. Very cool. No sugar. No, thank you. Oh, well, no. Merci. 
Yo, how do we come? So this is our new friend, Saeed. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Invited us into his house, into his shop for some tea. Yo, how do we come? This is a lovely shop. Yeah, lovely shop. Yes. Lovely shop. shop. These okay. two, uh, two new friends. Yeah, Abdul, yeah. Abdul. Invited us up for a cup of tea. Got us some soccer balls for the kids. Well, welcome. So we just stopped off the side of the road, heading to Atlas Studios. And uh, quite often you'll find here in, in Morocco um, these little little carts or cars on the side of the road just set up selling coffee so we just stop for a coffee this afternoon we've come to the famous Atlas Studios here in Wazazati um, lots of movies have been made here over the years <laughs> it's from the movie Gladiator. Props for that. From Jewel of the Nile, that airplane. And we've got uh, buses over here, trucks, sorry, from uh, Blackwell Pier. Cheaper actor, they don't pay for him. Mommy and daddy. Huh? Mommy and daddy. <laughs> Mommy and daddy, yes. <laughs> and this made in Taiwan, this one, Taiwan. <laughs> China. And uh, this is by state. And uh, this is the marketing gladiator here. It wants to move. But in the movie, the house is very huge, and I can with small thing. We make it by angle, turn around. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. And why they shot in this castle, not in the real one, but they didn't need to change this. This is, uh, I mean, before it's brown color like this, but now they change for the uh, noses, they, they make it, I mean, other color is white. And they change some details like the different. And here they use inside seat and outside. And uh, this temple, this is for Cleopatra movie, and the Asterix novel, it's is French movie. Yeah. And uh, Monica Bellucci, she swim in there. She take a bath in the milk. She make the bath in the dainty honey milk. Here's the milk. So we're currently at Atlas Studios in the back lot. Um, currently 
they're auditioning for Cleopatra 2 and uh, this is the new lead for Cleopatra 2. So we're back at our accommodation, the Echo Lodge, um, out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But, uh, this place runs off solar, solar energy, with this hot water, uh, power, econ, all that. So we'll show you around, show you our room. Beautiful ceiling. will be absolutely stunning in the summertime. The pool would be full with water, sunbathing. There used to be a lake just out over there many years ago but it's uh, dried up. <coughs> this place is all made of some like straw and clay. Very um, eco friendly. Welcome to our room. This is a massive bed. Very big. couch over here. Come around this way we have uh, another bed down there. Storage as you can see. Excuse the mess but we do live out of a suitcase. Um, a bit of a lounge area for sitting around which we've never used. And of course the bathroom. Right outside our room. Look at this beautiful thing. Wow.
Safety at its best. <laughs> so we're being stopped by these young gentlemen. Um, we come into this oh. village and they were pointing and telling us we had a problem. Our, half, our tires half flat, so we've come here. They've taken us to their to their house and. Um, Pumping it up, <laughs> the compressor <laughs> has got no plug, so they're just throwing wires at a uh, extension lead and uh, getting it going. Yeah, so no such thing as health and safety around here, but it's working. Good morning from Eight Ben Hadu, uh, which is a village we've come to about thirty minutes drive away from where we're actually staying, and. Uh, it's quite old, it's a very popular tourist destination uh, up on a bit of a hill, mountain, so we'll go and have a wee geese, see what it's like. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, World Heritage UNESCO site, so we've um, managed to get a speeding ticket on the way. And then I was slowing down for that, and it was, yeah, because it was coming down a hill. Um, yeah, but it's pretty crafty, really. We come down over a hill, oh, that's, that's okay. doing 80k, because the 80k zone is 60. 16 um, speed limit, so it started slowing down. This this dude popping up behind some bushes with a radar camera. Well, that's interesting. And then down the road, about for about 10 minutes down the road, we got stopped coming into this town. And yeah, had a photo 77 kilometers in a 60k zone. So it cost us um, 150 uh, dirham, which is about New Zealand, it's just over 20 bucks, I think, so not too bad, it is what it is, just cop it, carry on, so, eh, didn't really put too much of a damper on the day, no worried. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're standing on top of the old, uh, this fortified city. It's um, very old. I think it was in the 17th century. I think you see Trace. Uh, the original bill was around the 11th century. Oh, but wow. Everything that remains here, they say, is from after the 17th century. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, there's been something like 40 plus movies made here since about the 70s. Um, you know, like Jesus of Nazareth, a lot of religious movies. Um, what was it? Lawrence of Arabia, The Mummy, um, even part of season three of the Game of Thrones, mm. Gladiator. Um, yeah, there's been so many movies that you, you'd know of, um, and a lot of the stuff was filmed here. It's absolutely magnificent. Um, it's crazy what you find just in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> And you can actually see, by the landscape, you can actually see why they use this place to make those movies. Beautiful. But it's uh, old animals. It was uh, living in the ocean, it's like 450 million years ago. This is the animal. This is two animals. This is one with the, the head and the eyes. Yes, with rock stones in the mountains, and sometimes you found it. And there is other mountain you found like this, uh, for example, like this, or the ammonite, or starfish, like this. But this is hard stone. We we have to use the machines for take it off. Yeah. This is other animals. Also it's very cool. And this is ammonite. This is uh, we separate. It's one part like this, like this. But when we cut it with the with machine, we can see there inside of it. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Good drawings. Good drawings. Okay. Good drawings. Good afternoon from southern Morocco. Back on the road again and currently heading west towards Agadir, which is on the coast, um, a bit warmer weather to where we were, 
Was it freezing? Yeah, it was, eh? It was down to like um, minus one overnight on some of the nights. Interesting place to stay, where we stayed at. Um, <clears throat> Definitely out of our com comfort zone, I would say. Definitely. <laughs> um, they, they were in an eco lodge. I mean, the, the description on the website is quite deceiving. Um, it's not till you get there that you find out the hot water is solar and I mean the first time I had a shower I had to run it for like 10 minutes just to get any water to come out like hot water and, and one day it was the pipes were frozen so I couldn't have a shower um, and the heating is it's, it's a heat pump but it's run on solar panels as well um, so they don't turn the batteries well the batteries charge during the day or whatever they do and they don't turn them on till night time last night i had to go and ask them to turn it on at 8 30 um and we're down to like probably four or five degrees at that time of the night um freezing cold in the bedroom so we you know you end up just in bed different different experience um and then i woke up at one o'clock in the morning and the damn thing was off again <laughs> it was so, a bit cloudy yesterday so i'm I'm presuming that they um, mm. obviously don't get their batteries charged up as much. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 But that, that, you know, we're in the middle of nowhere, so you can't expect too much. The people were very nice. They were um, wonderful people. Couldn't do enough for me. The food was pretty good. Yeah. Expensive, but good. Yeah. yeah. Um, we paid, we had two meals there, two, two night meals, and it cost us 700 dirham. dirham. Which is New Zealand, it's just over a hundred dollars New Zealand. And I mean it wasn't I mean they weren't huge meals. Extravagant no. food, but um, it was tasty enough. Yeah. That's what it but is. But for Morocco uh, prices that is quite high. But, yeah. yeah. That's what it was. So we're um we've got about another G four hours maybe before we get to our destination. It's pretty slow going here on these highways. They're, they're 80k, then they're down to 60k, and every now and then you'll find 100k, but it's only for a very short period of time. And then you're dropping back to 60 again because there's a side road. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, as we left, was is that? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. We got pulled over. Again. Again. Um, we were coming down a hill. And there was this uh, a truck with gas bottles on it doing about 40 kilometers an hour and when I when I got to a straight bit of road still coming down a hill but I could probably see for a good 500 meters I've out past him never went over 60k because it's 60k limit down the bottom of the hill police pulled us over and we got fined 400 dirham which is about 60 New Zealand dollars for overtaking on a white line that was continuous. So there's something we did not know. We assume white lines are white lines, but no, if it's a continuous white line in Morocco, do not overtake. You're only allowed to overtake on broken white lines. Never knew. So that put a bit of a damper on things. I mean, they're, they're not even lenient about it. They're just 400, 400. You gotta pay them cash. Um, if you don't pay cash, they cancel your license and they'll probably confiscate your car as well, so you'd be stuffed. And it was our last 400. Yeah, term. we just had an R. <clears throat> so, hence we've stopped at a cash machine and got more out, just in case. <laughs> just in case we break some more rules we don't know about. Yeah. But anyway, um, it's good to be on the road again. It's good to be going to a new location. We're going to be there for a week, so hopefully 